Okay, what today we're going to do is we are going to be taking these black shalers off of this Travis Bean and putting on chrome ones that I just got in the box. And these ones, I bought another pair of used ones before realizing that the used ones wouldn't fit because the screw holes are different. So, these at the end are straight. The pair I got were angled ones. And when you're working with the Travis Bean with the aluminum neck, uh, <laughs> I'm not drilling a new hole in the aluminum neck, so I had to so just spend the money and get the, uh, the new ones. So what we're going to do is I'll take these off and then I'll start filming again uh, I'm not going to film this whole thing yeah, okay. let's see if I can see what this sorry guys I'm not I'm taking my time with this video though I've been rushing a lot of videos why am I rushing this okay. oh my god this thing just won't work okay let's just move this down there we go One thing I noticed with this Travis Bean is I really, if you own one of these, when you change the uh, strings or you do a setup on it, let the strings sit overnight because I think this the rosewood wants to act funny, the fretboard on this. Now I'm also putting on 11 gauge strings on this instead of 10, so I may need to do the intonation. So we shall see. And these tuners will be for sale if anyone needs them. I don't have any guitars that uh, black hardware fits on. And I that was my only complaint about this guitar was the uh, color of the tuners. But for the deal I got on this these are not cheap guitars and I was able to get this for pretty 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 good deal let's put it that way okay I'll clean all this shit up ah. give me a second guys sorry I said I'm in no hurry though with this video I'd like to do this the right way I will say though too, if you guys own one of these Travis Beans and you're having issues with tuning and temperatures, just let the thing get used to the room you're going to be playing and don't take it from the case right out. You're, the guitar is going to act funny. But if you let it adapt to the uh, room temperature, the temperature of the room, it will stay in tune a lot better than people will think have you make or you know, have you think reading stuff on the internet i haven't had issues with mine as long as i let it as long as i let it uh warm up to the room temperature and i mean i i, I tuned this at one point went outside with it in 30 some degree uh temperature and walked inside with it and i would say within 30 seconds the thing kind of warmed up and went right back in tune so Okay, so we're getting there guys Like I said these will be for sale if, if you're looking for a set of these for a good deal um, These are black shaler m6s uh, like I said I no, no nothing. I'm gonna be using these with so. Man, I always cut myself doing strings. Yeah, look at that. So you got you got to bleed a little bit if you're if you work on guitars <laughs> Okay we're getting there. I know it's gonna be a gonna be a video, a long video. I haven't really had a chance to look closer at this Travis Bean to see how it was built. You know how they did these holes right here, you know, and whatnot. This is pretty amazing what they pull off with these guitars. I think if you get a good one, you won't have some of the problems you read too. I think the older ones had some issues, but like this when I got it, this nut wasn't cut right. Um, they claimed it was cut, because I got it directly from Electric Guitar, EGD or whatever, and they claimed that they cut they cut these nuts a special way, and people like them, but no. This high E string was literally coming off, off the fretboard, and you can't see, but if you look close to here, 
this fretboard slants a little bit anyway so with that string where it was that you were on the verge of that E string coming off and you were spending more time worrying about that than you were actually playing the guitar so yeah that wasn't done right so my only complaint about this guitar overall was that one that one issue and uh oh yeah it's allen wrench isn't it give me a second i may actually have the right allen wrench screw already out nope great now i'll really make this video longer <laughs> okay let me find the right size i'm gonna say it's this one i'm usually pretty good about this Mm, yep. See? Pretty good. And definitely, if you don't have one of these, get yourself one of these kits. These are freaking awesome. Cool. Yep. I like that they use Allen wrench screws on this whole guitar. This, to me, is genius. I don't understand why you would... Uh, use regular screws the way they can get stripped now if you're smart with these I mean if you're start smart with any of these screws you shouldn't be stripping out anything but that's the only thing about this set of these black ones I'm selling though they won't include these black screws they'll include the brand new silver ones that are with this new set I got because I can't use these I don't think I can use this the standard screws on this guitar and I said it's an aluminum neck I'm not drilling a new hole in the aluminum neck guitar sorry ain't happening Okay, so we're almost there. Okay. And we didn't lose any screws. And like that. That's the first time I've been able to see the aluminum. Well, let's fingers crossed that these fit. They may not. Hey, okay, they do. Well, I've just not been having very good luck with with certain with the mail and certain certain parts. Oh, will this fit? I'm not sure. I might need it. No, okay. That actually doesn't make me nervous. Cool. All right. We're on. Okay, that's one. Let's get the second one. This will probably be my longest YouTube video. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Follow along. Follow along with the left is left, the right is right. <laughs> yeah, there's just some coating of this, the metal coating on it is a little so you just want to make sure you take your time with these screws okay. like I said these are identical tuners to what were on it and I like the tuners I just didn't like the black I think once you guys see what it looks like I should have filmed this before and after but the the, the metal on the uh, pick guard and the pickups and the bridge look really cool and then you get it to the headstock it's black I kind of think this guitar might have been uh, built with some leftover parts or something. You know, like they had a guitar all built and they just needed tuners or something to put on it. I don't know why this tuner is doing this. Okay. Sorry, having a little issues with one tuner here, guys. Trouble, trouble ahead, trouble behind. What I'll do is I'm not gonna do this whole video on what I will cut it together after I've put strings on it and stuff, but I'll at least get the tuners on so you guys can see in this video. Sorry guys, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble today getting this filmed. Okay. This little thingy's not liking me right now. This tripod. Okay. 
please don't drop a screw. Not on there. Yeah, I guess it is. I think it's gonna... I think this will all... There we go. Okay, let me just double check that. Now that I saw that, there's like a second wave tightening on these. Those are all good. So it was just that that particular one. Right? Oh yeah, that flies right out. Oh, cool. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Give me a second. I don't know why some of these are hard to spin off these nuts. There we go. Yeah. I already like the look of it better with this, with the chrome on it. And I haven't even flipped it over yet, and I like the look of it better. And I also have the other pair, as I said, that's uh, the other angle of Shaler too. So if any of you guys are interested in either of the sets I have, let me know. Because I really didn't have the money to... <laughs> Spend the um, tuners. These were thirty dollars off, though on uh, Stumac. Yeah, I think it was about thirty dollars off. Cool. Glad everything was a drop, and I was just having nightmares because I've had issues getting the right tuners. To my mail, the United States Postal Service. I really don't like right now. They lost a set of tubes I sent out to a customer. I handed them right to my mail guy because they were never scanned, because the mail guy put them on his lap, never scanned them, threw them in the back. Somehow they're not responsible for that because the package never got scanned. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? So I'm out about 150 bucks. Let's see, do I have one of these? I think I do. I just don't remember if this. Nope, that isn't the right one. Somewhere I have one of these, it's positive. But I don't know if it was deep enough. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't deep enough. I'm gonna have to do this by hand. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Look at that. The chrome instead of the black. Yeah, that looks ten times better. That really brought the guitar together. I'll... I'll once I get these tight, I'll zoom out and show you guys why. Why I say that? I really like these shalers, though. These the way they fit in. They they. I'm not nervous about. I'm not nervous about uh, how these how well these fit. These fit very well. And they snug right in. Cool. Gotta be careful with this black. I already got some scratches from changing strings, and I've only owned this thing a couple months. Actually, not even. Maybe two months now I've owned this. There we go. Sorry if I'm getting in the way of the view. I'm not looking through the camera. I'm doing this looking over the camera, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know there's not much going on in this video other than installing tuners, but the whole, this whole process I wanted to make sure I filmed. I have a few friends who saw I got this guitar and they agreed to with me about the, the black tuners. So, about the same, like, why am I having to pull that so hard? Okay, and we're almost done. Oh, of course, I'm doing that. Wow, okay, so what I'll do is I'll show you what I mean. See those tuners now? Now look with the rest of it. Yeah, that looks ten times better. Cool, and I'll I'll do another video once I have it all strung up and whatnot. Because I gotta do some other stuff before I'm done. But there it is.